All right, I'll run a quick video for you on this uh, 1962 Imperial. So at first glance, it, it presents well. Uh, sorry, I've got the hood and trunk uh, lid open, but uh, it'll uh, give me easier access when I start doing the walk around. Uh, so when I come up front here, you will see that the uh, front bumper does have a dent here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you can see where it's slightly worked here. And where you can see where there's some uh, preparation imperfections here around the line. There is some chipping here. Uh, some more here. You can see right here on the grill where it's cracked. Um, there and cracked there. And I've got good close-up pictures of this. Uh, let's see here. So we know the chrome's going to need some work there. Uh, we have a chip here. And then this area here too has been, uh, has been worked. Okay. Okay, we got a chip on the hood. The body lines uh, look pretty good. Okay, open up the hood here. Underneath uh, looks pretty straightforward. The hinges uh, support the weight of the hood. Insulation looks pretty good. Uh, engine bay, uh, again, in pretty good shape. I checked all the fluids already. I uh, got you a nice picture of the uh, engine number there. Okay, I uh, checked the belts, hoses, they, they feel good. Uh, coolant uh, looks pretty good. Uh, looks like we got a small uh, leak right there. Good. Um, I've had the engine running for about 15 minutes and I shut it down now. So it looks like there is a radiator leak. Uh, that needs to be addressed here in the uh, upper front area it looks uh, pretty good okay i've already pulled the uh the cover off the brake reservoir i got pictures of that uh power steering fluid was i think it's slightly low uh but everything else uh, looks good i don't see any damage uh in the inner fender wells or uh the front uh frames all right okay pushing back here a little bit more rims tires look good uh, hubcaps in a decent shape Okay, um, bright work, uh, not too bad on this side here. Uh, wipers worked, I've checked the operation of that already. Okay, here's uh, the uh, roof line, lines look pretty good here. Okay, uh, bright work, in decent shape. All right, back window looking good, didn't see any delamination, uh, cracks or chips, anything obvious I should say. Uh, tail lights, uh, the typical little uh, shattering in there. I've already pulled the, the carpeting here, looked pretty straightforward, some undercoating there, uh, but uh, no obvious signs of rust. Okay. Here on the side, I don't know if it'll pick up on it, but on the doors, you can see on the right side, there is some rippling here. Uh, you can see where there's this workmanship issues here, and I can, I can definitely feel it just running my hand across it. All right, um, let's take a look here at the roof line. Uh, bright work uh, slightly uh, pitted here, so that's gonna need some attention there. Pretty straightforward. Actually, let me uh, get the paint meter here. Get a couple readings, see where we're at. Stand by. Okay, 13.5, 10 thousandths of an inch, 12.5, good. 12, 15.5, good readings, 17. 5.5, 6, 6, and 19.7, try that again, okay, maybe a little body filler here in that area, 6.5, 8, 8.5, 7, 7, good, 11, 11, let's go on the other side here, let's check the back, Eight and a half, ten and a half, eight and a half, seven, six, twelve, twelve and a half, nine, seven, seven and a half. Okay, uh, looks like we might have some body filler here in the uh, lower right rear door. Six. Eight and a half, twenty. 20, uh, some body filler down there, but not too much. Eight and a half, nine, seven and a half, and more body filler here on the door. 18, seven, 11, nine. So for the most part, uh, pretty uh, straightforward. Just a couple of panels that uh, picked up on some body filler but uh i'd say overall it's in pretty good condition uh let's oh i forgot to point out that on the bright work here on the right side uh here on the wheel well this one is uh pushed in a little bit and you can see where it's popped out there 
Uh, so mainly the grill and then the right front door just popped out there. The rest of the bright work uh, was in decent shape. We'll take a look inside. Okay, all the power windows worked. I checked the operation of that. The wing window here does not work. You can see where the interior is going to need some attention. It's got overspray. It's starting to come apart a little bit here. And then you got some tarnishing or pitting. No, not, not pitting, but... Uh, you might get away with some polishing. I already got a shot of the uh, bin plate right there. You can see where the rubber is cracking a little bit here. Okay. Uh, I've already uh, checked the operation of the uh, bench seat that moves forward, backwards, and up. A little noisy, but it does work. Uh, you already know about the steering wheel. It does have some cracking here. Uh, windshield wipers worked. Verified that. The horn did not work. I also verified that the parking brake does not work as well. Let me just jump inside real quick. Okay. I've already got your nice uh, odometer reading and uh, oil pressure did not respond, temperature did not respond, nor did the gasoline. Uh, the battery did give me some sort of reading. Uh, light illuminated here, but I didn't see the cluster lights uh, come on. Uh, uh, the antenna worked. I have uh, it blew uh, cold. Um, well, I mean, not wear your sweater cold, but you know, cold air was coming out. Still haven't felt the heat yet. And what else? On the radio here, it just